Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at how transformers work. So your typical power station produces about 25,000 volts and your house um, has a supply of about 230 volts going into it. There's obviously a big difference here and the way that the um, amount coming in is converted is via a transformer. So this is what a transformer looks like. We have an iron core going all the way around here. We have a primary coil, we have a secondary coil. We have an alternating current um, going in and this produces an alternating magnetic field in the core. The magnetic field um, passes through the secondary coil over here and then once the um, magnetic field passes through the secondary coil, this creates um, an alternating potential difference in the secondary coil. So a step-up transformer is a transformer where the potential difference across the secondary coil is greater than the potential difference across the primary coil. And this is all due to the number of turns in the primary and secondary coil. So a step-down transformer is one that has a lower potential difference across the secondary coil and a higher potential difference across the primary coil. This is all due to the number of turns again. So the secondary coil over here is going to have a few turns and the primary coil is going to have lots of turns. A super important thing to remember for your exam is that transformer only is only going to work if an AC current is supplied and not if a DC current is supplied. This is because we need to induce an alternating current in the secondary coil. A switchway transformer is going to be the transformer that you use to plug in your mobile phone or your iPad or your Nintendo UDS when you're charging it. Um, the advantage with these is they're very small, they're very light. Um, it uses different um, frequency and the big advantage to this, uh, the one that you're probably going to want to learn for the exam, is that it uses very little power when not charging anything. So this is the first equation that you need to know which links the primary difference and the number of turns. This is how we can have step up and step down transformers that work. So we have the potential difference across the primary coil divided by the potential difference across the secondary coil which is equal to the number of turns in the primary coil and the number of turns in the secondary coil. Um, there's a video in the Essential Math section, it's also after this in the playlist, where I go through lots and lots of worked examples for this equation. For a step-up transformer, the number of turns in the secondary coil is going to be larger than the number of turns in the primary coil. For a step-down transformer, the number of turns in the primary coil is going to be larger than the number of turns in the secondary coil. Here is another equation, this is for AQA students only, so you need to know the potential difference across the primary coil times the current in the primary coil is equal to the potential difference across the secondary coil times the current in the secondary coil. And again, there are lots of examples for this in the video in the math section. For this equation, we have assumed that the transformer is 100% efficient and nothing, no energy is lost.